Now, here's my recommendation on how not to wake up with a hangover. Uh, of course, you know, if you drink a half a gallon of whiskey, it's kind of inevitable. But, you know, even if you're a heavy drinker, such as myself, you all know I love my wine and my beers, uh, I can drink two bottles of wine, two and a half bottles of wine a night, and not wake up hungover if I seriously hydrate myself before I go to sleep. Now, I usually don't follow this rule. Because after two and a half bottles of wine, well, I'm pretty not thirsty. <laughs> I'm pretty, you know, I think I'm hydrated. I'm just not thirsty. And I'm pretty drunk, so I generally forget this rule. But when I'm relatively sober, like right now, I thought I'd make a video at least so I can remind myself. Uh, yeah, hydrate. For every beer you drink or every glass of wine you drink, try to drink a glass of water. So, if you sit there and you drink eight, ten glasses of wine, you know, try to drink a gallon or eight glasses of water. Uh, either th throughout the process of drinking or afterwards. Certainly before you go to bed. The problem with this is you're going to have to wake up and piss in the middle of the night. Or you're going to piss yourself if you're inclined to that. Which I'm not, but... And it never hurts to take one aspirin, too. I wouldn't take too many aspirins, because I guess you're not supposed to take aspirin if you drink. Or is that Tylenol? Either way, uh, it seems to help. And, of course, get a good eight hours of sleep. Fortunately, you usually only get, like, that four hours of drunken sleep where you're just drunk, kind of passed out, and then you wake up. Uh, but, you know, that's my advice. And when I can follow it, when I do choose to follow it, it generally seems to work.